What's up everyone? Welcome back to Simply Haney. Today we are going to the Guinness Brewery.
Well, I don't know about you, but that's one way to start the tour. Let's get going. Oh, that's an interesting smell. There are several floors to get us. The first floor that we're going to start with is the ingredients. And here is the barley, which is one of the key ingredients to making gifts. Get a load of these things. These are the tools they use to help spread out the barley and the rain to make sure they all look even. Like back home, the Cape people have their beach rights. Arthur wanted to make sure he had his water rights so that way his beer would be correctly made. Alright, moving on up to the next floor. Wonder what we're gonna learn now. Oh, look at this, the man himself. Quite a rundown of the brewery as well. We started in 9,000 years. I mean, that's not just giving you so much. You can't see into the future. Sometimes I think Arthur knew it though. Anyway, he must have known something as he was cracked. Quite a rundown of the brewery as well. But he signed a 9,000 year lease. I mean, that's not just dipping your toe in the water, is it? Arthur was setting it in for the long stay. Not only that, but he soon decided to stop brewing everything except for it. The big man was our Arthur and all about him to brew a day. Well, I guess he knew something the others didn't. And like pulling a pint to get us, good things come to those who wait. Now they didn't hurry. But well, he had not a thousand years. Still, when in 50 years the brewery had doubled in size, and within a hundred, they were shipping out a million barrels a year. They have seen mad at the time, 
Here are the new videos about it. And Guinness has shipped to every corner of the world ever since. Of course, we still keep a drop here for ourselves, too. Now, you've heard of Mr. Earth Guinness. And I dare say you've heard of the saying that behind every great man is a great woman. So, what about Mrs. Irma Guinness? Two years after Arthur set up his brewery at St. James' Gate, in 1761, he married Miss Olivia Whitmore. As you would expect Arthur's bride to be, Olivia was a strong woman, and she supported Arthur's business, investing her own money and using her family influence to help it grow. Not only that, she was a fine mother too. Now, being a parent is never easy. In the 18th century, Ireland was no exception, no. It wasn't, it was a difficult place to raise a family. Back then, a child's chances of surviving into adulthood were only 50%. Arthur and Olivia had 21 children. This is Olivia Guinness gave birth to 21 children. That means that for nearly 16 years of her life, she was pregnant. What a woman. Now, I said that a child's chances weren't good back then. Arthur and Olivia buried 11 of their children. 11. But 10 were tough, 10 were lucky, and it was those 10 who would carry the Guinness scene forward, who would make Guinness what it is today. Yep, Olivia, Mrs. Arthur Guinness, mother of the black stuff. We still decided to stop doing everything except for. Oh, yeah, we're definitely. The smell here has definitely changed. Yeah, it's amazing how each floor has a different smell to match the room across. Here in St. James's Gate, we've been working with Irish barley farmers and monsters for generations. We roast at exactly 232 degrees. Any higher, the barley catches fire. Any lower, the beer won't develop its unique character. It's our roasted barley that gives Guinness its iconic color, taste, and aroma. Advertising. Absolutely amazing. I have a complete awe of this place. Alright, here we are at the world of advertising. The first thing that we see is the infamous Guinness Park. Thank you. 
Starting back up again. It's time to put our face on our beer. Here we go. gonna do it. If you like what you saw, smash that subscribe button. Until next time, we'll see ya!